Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I initially wanted this to be a reading vlog, but I'm probably going to do that in a separate video. Um, I just want to keep you guys updated on what's been going on recently because when I say some craziness has ensued, the devil mad. Um, he mad with me. He real big mad. And let me just start. So, you guys know um, how I'm in the process. Sorry if you guys hear any drilling. Literally, it's outside my window. My window is right here. I apologize. So, yeah, bear with that. But um, you guys know that I'm in the process of being elevated into um, an evangelist at church. Hold on. But yeah, I'm in the process of being elevated into an evangelist at church, and that's happening next month. Literally, August 23rd is the elevation service, and I will be licensed um, as an evangelist, which is crazy. But you guys know the whole experience with classes. That's going great. If you want... Ooh, sorry, guys. I'm going to explain why I just did that in a second. But um, if you guys follow my Instagram, you know what's been going on recently and why I just jumped like that. But, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then I'm gonna explain everything. So, yeah, classes have been going great. Um, we don't have class this week because it's obviously 4th of July. Actually, when this video goes up, it'll be 4th of July. So, happy 4th of July to anybody who celebrates 4th of July. I'll probably be right on that bed. And I'll explain why my bed looks like this as well. But, um, so, yeah. Um... Class has been going great. Um, we have class next week, and next week we will be doing chapel. So we'll be basically be redoing our, our first sermons that we did for the first chapel. So I basically went in and redid my um, sermon for chapel, which is great. I printed it out. It's all good. Um, I also had an assignment where I had to look up what an evangelist is because I'm not going to lie. When I was being told I was an evangelist, you guys know my thoughts and stuff like that about how I felt. Um, and you know, like, you know, when you know something, but you don't really know, like, the actual meaning of it, that's kind of how it was with evangelism. Um, and being an evangelist, I knew that an evangelist was a person who went and gathered people to the kingdom of God, but I didn't understand the full meaning of being an evangelist. So, my first lady was not happy about that. Um, I'm saying first lady, but my pastor, she was not quite happy about that because she expected us to go and do the research and I definitely had it on my mind to do the research I just was scared to do the research on it because I didn't I had a feeling about what it was but I didn't want to acknowledge it if that makes sense so yeah so I did that assignment and actually let me grab my paper if I could find my folder is this the folder yes so here is my class folder all of this stuff is like papers that had to get done so, um, I do have my actual, like, paper that I need to redo because apparently I did it wrong. She wanted it in first person. I did not do mine in the first person. Um, so, like I said, I redid my entire sermon, um, which was the Pillars of Christian Success. And I will do, like, a video on my sermon, um, probably once I'm elevated completely, but I redid my entire sermon over. So, we have that done. Um, and then I did my research on evangelists and evangelism, and basically... I wrote like a little paragraph. Um, an evangelist is one whose mission is to proclaim the gospel. And um, they do that through either public speaking, which is preaching, or through personal witnessing. You can do this one-on-one. -on -one. You can do this in church. But the main idea and goal of an evangelist is to go out into the world and to tell people about the gospel. Tell them about the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let them know that Jesus Christ loves them. And, um, yeah, it's just to communicate the gospel. And then when I did further research, it told me that basically an evangelist are the uh, writers of the four gospels. And you guys know I love John, right? So basically Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were evangelists. Paul was an evangelist. Um, and there's a well-known evangelist in the Bible. Oh, my God, what is his name? It's in Acts 4, which I have to study. Um, Philip. So I'm going to be studying Acts 4 this week. But, um... Yeah, I literally was like, let me look this up. I put the Greek, the Merriam Dictionary, Google definition, the scriptures, and the same thing with evangelism, the Greek, and stuff like that. So, in essence, a evangelist is similar to a preacher. Um, you know, and everybody has the gift of, like, evangelizing to people, but God basically gifts specific people with that kind of vocational role if that makes sense so yeah i'm still piecing it together looking through it and stuff like that it's yeah google basically the greek um basically an evangelist is a bringer of the 
of good news, which is the gospel, um, the bearer of good tidings, someone with a vocational calling, which is basically a purpose, mission, position, and function from God to announce the good news of the gospel. Um, the William Dictionary, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary told me that it's an enthusiastic advocate and it's the one who evangelizes or preaches the gospel to others. In Google, it said that it's a person who seeks to convert others to the Christian, Christian faith, especially by public preaching like the writers of the gospels. So, yeah. An evangelist is, in essence, a preacher that goes out to speak to those um, who don't know the gospel, who have never heard of the gospel. Um, and I do that one way through YouTube. A lot of you guys are believers and follow, you know, Jesus Christ and God. But there are some who are actually new to the faith, or to the faith, to the faith, who have watched my channel. So this is one way that I evangelize. Um, but yeah, I did that. So I just need to redo my paper, which is here. I need to actually go through, read it, edit it. Because I did my paper, I think, in third person when she wants it, like, in first person. It's supposed to be a research paper, but not a research paper. I hope you guys get what I'm saying, but I have to redo the paper over, right? So, anyways, Sunday. So, Sunday, I went to church. Um, great service. Great service at church. Um, I recently um, have been over the church's Facebook page, so I've been really active with, like, getting social media going for the church ministry, and I'm loving it so far. I love, like, making the little images and stuff. It's so fun. Um, and I do the photography at church as well. So, Sunday, I finally got the live set up, so we did the live, which wasn't the best um but i know now what to do next time i took photos i was writing down notes because i do the images because i like to take notes when i'm in sermons sermons but i'm when i'm in service i like to take notes from each sermon like in-depth notes and what i've been doing recently with those notes um is basically making images to post on the instagram and facebook page throughout the week up until that sunday so i've been doing that but anyway my bishop preached a phenomenal word oh my god it's about second winds and um just how your praise really is important it was just it was so phenomenal i'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out um if you want to see what the sermon was the live video kind of is a hot not a hot mess but it's a little a little weird um but bear with me you can definitely still hear the sermon down below i'll link it down below um to the facebook page but he preached a phenomenal service service sermon and um, then he came and spoke a word over me, which was interesting because I'm working on a project right now. It is a Daughter of Increase project. I'm working on a project, and it's been on my heart for a long time to work on. And um, my mind was kind of split between two part, two different part types of the project. But I've settled on one, and I've been, like, hesitant a bit. And I don't know. It's just like I'm, I'm holding back from the project. So he spoke a word over me about the project, and I broke out in a praise. But in the midst of me breaking out in a praise, I kind of stepped on my own toe. Um, yeah. And basically, you know how like you stand like this and you normally bend your, your toe backwards? Well, my toe bent underneath the foot like that, and it was my big toe. So in the process of doing that, I broke my bone. Or I have a broken toe, rather. Um, I did not go to ER that day. Um, there was a lot of blood. It was really disgusting. Sorry, TMI. But um, it just it was really painful. So I came home that night. And I just, I wanted to just, you know, get in bed, maybe let it just do what it do. And the pain was insane. Insane, you guys. I mean, when I say insane, I mean insane. And when I prayed, um, I had my anointing oil. I don't even know where my anointing oil is now. It was sitting here. That's a good question. I don't know where my anointing oil just went, but I definitely had it. But, um, oh, I think I put it over there. But I had got out of bed to get the anointing oil to pray over my foot. And I don't always use my anointing oil. I only use it when I'm praying, like, healing and stuff like that over my body or my family and stuff within the house. So, um, I went to get my anointing oil and prayed over my foot. And I, I kid you guys not, every time I said the name of God, every time I said Jesus, the pain intensified. Like, I mean, it was a flare-up. And it's kind of like I knew what was going on, but I didn't want to acknowledge it. So then I had ended up texting Angela from Transform Through God's Word, who is my sis. I texted her and was telling her about it, and she prayed for me through text. And as I was reading the text, the pain intensified. So then I knew that it was the enemy. He just causing me more pain. And I'm just like, why are you doing this? I get why he's doing this, because he wants to keep me down and keep me bound, but that ain't happening. Um, I'm finally free, and he is not going to be able to shut me up. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, so I went throughout the day. I was like, alright, whatever. I dealt with the pain, went to sleep, 
got got up got through my day and then i was just like i can't deal with the pain so i wanted to go to the er but my mom was like let's go to urgent care first so we went to urgent care we get all the way to urgent care sit there for 10 minutes for these people to tell me oh we don't take your insurance we sat there for 10 minutes you saw my insurance card for 10 minutes and then you wait 10 minutes to tell me you don't take my insurance that was strike two from the enemy yeah no well strike three strike one was bending my toe forward underneath my foot because that's just like how does that happen like now please tell me. someone explain to me has that ever happened to you like have you ever seen it happen to somebody where their big toe bent forward and they stomped on it like please tell me if that has ever happened but that was strike one strike two i'm praying over my foot my sister angela is praying over my foot and you're causing more pain three is you're telling me you don't take my insurance at urgent care seriously so we went to the hospital and um we get to the hospital <laughs> my mom was ready to go off on the, the the nurse at the station because i cannot walk like it really hurts to walk i literally have my grandmother's cane okay because it hurts so much and um it, it really hurts so the lady was like yeah you're gonna be here for a while and she was like well um you have to stand here and fill out the paperwork because i have to register you my mom was like well she can't stand and it's bleed now mind you my toe was still bleeding my toe just kept bleeding no matter how much um, like, if I tapped my toe on something real lightly, it bled, which was insane. So that, the non-stop bleed, like, it still bleeds if I hit or tap it on something. So I'm very mindful of that. But, um, you know, so I'm sitting there hobbling along. Then I go sit down. Um, they call me to the little triage area thing to take my pressure and all that. Um, and then we're waiting for, like, ten minutes, and then we get called. Now, mind you, when the lady, when we first got there so I could register and all that, the nurse was like, yeah, you're going to be here for a while. I was like, no. She prayed over that, that we wouldn't be there that long. I kid you not, guys, about 10, 15 minutes later, a doctor came out. He called my name. He came. He sat with us in the little rest waiting area. Um, he looked at my foot. He said, I probably need an x-ray. We'll do the x-ray, and if um, that's all I need, then he'll send me on my way. So the minute we were getting ready to go into the back of the um, hospital and like to the room areas, one of the other nurses called my name, and I'm just like, why are you calling my name? The doctor's already here. Went to the doctor. He told me he was going to order the x-ray, did the x-rays, went back to him. And um, basically, and I'm going to tell you guys, no lie, the way he said it, which cracked me and my mother up so much, it was so hilarious. He said, well, you have a broken toe. I'm like, what like mind you i've never broken a bone a day in my life you guys i've never broken a bone like ever 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 so he's like well yeah you have a broken toe what oh but it doesn't need surgery you see this bone here yeah that's a good bone to break because apparently you have two bones in your toe so the bone that i broke is the bone that you that doesn't require surgery the other bone would have required surgery but the crazy part is it's like it's the bone is still straight. There is a deep fracture within the bone. Like, he showed me the x-ray so that I could see the line. Um, and that's basically where my foot is bruised. Like, my toe is bruised up really bad. It's purple. Um, so that area where it's purple is where the fracture is. And it's not like a hairline fracture. It's a, it's a good fracture. <laughs> um, so he was like, yeah, you don't need surgery. All you need is a shoe. Um, four to six weeks to heal. You're going to be in pain for like two weeks. This pain is no joke. Um, he gave me a shoe. I kept saying boot, but it's not a boot. I know what the boot looks like, and I didn't want a boot, but um, it's literally like a freaking sandal. I cut the straps because they were long, but it's a, literally a sandal he gave me to um, help. And my toe is swollen to the max, you guys. Literally swollen. Um, it's bruised up in purple. Um, there is still blood on my toe that I can't take off. Like I've been trying to wipe it off since Monday. Since Sunday, it's it's just not. So I'm, I'm like slowly cleaning it with the peroxide a lot. I have gauze. The peroxide is here. I have a stack of gauze here. He gave me some acetaminophen to take for pain, but that doesn't work. Ibuprofen works for me, but I'm not taking the ibuprofen right now um, for the time being. And I'll probably discuss that in another video um, with you guys. But um, so yeah, and then when we left, so mind you guys, we were only in there for like a good 10 minutes. So it took about 10, 15 minutes to wait. We only was seen for 10 minutes and then right before we left he was like well yeah you see this list right here you passed 10 people i tell you god it's good because i didn't want to be in a hospital swarm we were literally in and out um no surgery required i thank god for that it's nothing severe it's just it is fractured um broken but broken toe whatever you call it because apparently it's the same thing but um it hurts like heck 
to walk you guys it really hurts um i have to keep my feet elevated and if i'm on my feet too long my toe then starts to bleed and it starts to throb it hurts um so my mother did like i said give me my grandmother's cane i walk around in the house with it i don't walk outside with it i feel like that'll be weird but i do walk around with my grandmother's cane in the house because my foot is on fire um so then yesterday i went to the dentist i had a dentist appointment and my son actually had an appointment on monday i couldn't go to his appointment because the de his dentist our, our regular dentist is not far it's literally like a 10 minute walk from my house but i normally would take the, the the bus there and then from the bus stop it's like a good five minute walk but with my foot the way it is with a toddler it just wasn't gonna work so i can't i didn't even call and cancel i just didn't show up for his appointment i need to call him this week to be scheduled but my uh dentist appointment that i had yesterday was for oral surgery and um i have all four of my bosom teeth are actually grown and the two on the top are fully grown which i never knew and the two on the bottom i believe are impacted is what they said so those four have to come out but then i also have one over here that's a regular molar that i cracked back in 2009 eating the halls never got that fixed never got it pulled out so i have to get that pulled out so i'm getting five teeth pulled out um, and I actually have to get my wisdom teeth removed before I can do the next steps for my braces because I am looking into getting braces. So once I get those five pulled out, then they'll finish my root canal because my root canal is not fully done. Like, um, they took the nerve and all that out, but they have to actually like finish it, finish it, fill it back up with the, whatever that product is and then put the actual cap on it. But they don't want to do that until the extractions are done because they have to drill and all that. But, um, so I went to that appointment yesterday, and I suffered a lot of pain on my toe, because I didn't take the cane, my brother went with me, um, my younger brother that's super, super tall, he's like almost six feet, I don't know how tall he is, honestly, I'm just saying six feet, but, um, I used him to go with me, because I, I couldn't do it on my own, and I probably should have took the cane yesterday, because my foot was really on fire, so, um, I do, I was, well, I was there, mind you, okay, so I went initially to the dentist for, um, my consultation, not my consultation. I went to the dentist in April. So I went to the dentist April something and they did all the paperwork and whatnot and they told me to call to schedule for my consultation. Why did it take two months for my consultation? So mind you guys, I went back in April. April 20 something, 24th or something like that. I went. They didn't have my consultation scheduled until July 2nd because that was the next available date, which is crazy. So I definitely didn't want to miss that date because I didn't want to have to reschedule and wait longer. You know? But um, while I was there, I was like, okay, I'm praying that they can just immediately get me in for the end of the month. The whole time I was praying that they could get me in for the end of the month. Because August is going to be crazy. My family is planning something with my other, my, with my grandmother on my father's side. Um, and then I don't want to miss any classes in August for the minister's class. Um, I don't, I, I want to be, you know, hair and lucid and not in pain for the elevation service. So I was like, okay, God, I really want this to happen by the end of the month i kid you not you guys my surgery is on the 26th the crazy part is the 26th is my founding day of daughter of increase so yeah i wanted to do like a whole big shebang video and stuff like that for two years of having doi but i won't be able to do that because i'll be in surgery my surgery is early in the morning so it is on the 26th of july at 8 a.m for my um extractions it'll be five extractions um my four wisdom teeth plus the broken molar and then i'll be good um i should be really like i should be healed by the time the service and stuff like that so i am glad about that so this morning my bed okay so the enemy tried me again this morning um to the point where i literally almost broke down crying so he tried me twice today i woke up this morning to a spider of my bed and not the little baby spiders you guys like this was a spider on my bed like a, a, a spider on my bed crawling towards me so i fell off my bed hurt my toe so i immediately got to cleaning my room because i was not having it i mean i took everything out of my room mind you with a broken toe i took everything out of my room everything from under my bed mopped my floors swept my floors we wasn't playing that I took the sheet off my bed and threw it in the garbage. I'm not even keeping that sheet. There's a freaking spider. I had to kill it myself. No. I just threw the whole sheet out. <laughs> okay? So, I have this one here, and then I have a black fitted sheet that normally fits my bed. Why won't they fit today, of all days? Like, they just they just don't want to fit. So, I literally was on the verge of tears because I was getting frustrated because, one, you messed up my toe. 
makes no sense to me. Then you're messing with my insurance, telling me, yeah, I don't take it. Like, the enemy has just really been messing with me. And it's like, it's not even like you're doing serious things. You're doing petty things. And it's making me so mad. Like, I wanted to cry, guys. Because I'm just like, I just want to fix my bed, get in the bed, with my feet up, and relax. And I can't do that because I don't have a fitted sheet. Now, this is the, uh, the mattress sheet protector thingy they call it a mattress pad but it's not a mattress pad it's a little sheet the the thing that keeps the liquids from getting onto your mattress right so yeah i'm sitting here with no fitted sheet that fits i have a black one. Oh, you guys can see it over there sorry right behind me under my robe and my sleeping gown um there's a black fitted sheet that doesn't fit my bed either all of a sudden and it's like i've used these sheets multiple times and now all of a sudden you don't fit come on now so, I have to go to Walmart tonight. Luckily, our Walmart is 24 hours. I need to go to Walmart tonight and get two packs of fitted sheets. Like, just, just two fitted sheets. I'm eventually going to get a, a new bed. Now, I've, oh, I've been saying I wanted a new bed set for a while with new pillows and stuff, like a gray color. Um, now I have a reason to do that. So, yeah, that's what I've been dealing with today. Like, it's just... It's been a frustrating day. Literally was on the tear verge of tears today because I'm just like, I don't know. I wanted to record a video today um, doing a devotional with me because I really wanted to do one of my devos, which didn't happen. I was going to do a reading blog, a fourth shadow of the storm because I literally just finished this one. So after reading Until the Mountains Fall, which is book three by Connie Lincoln, and if you haven't seen my reading blog, go check it out by clicking the eye on the screen. I dove right into her first trilogy, which was the Out from Egypt trilogy, and this was Counted with the Stars. I freaking adore this book so much. I did give this book four stars, though. Or was it 4.5? I think I gave four of 4.5. I'll tell you, it'll be on the screen what I gave it. Um, I'll leave a link down to my review as well. But I adored this freaking book so much that I was like, you know what, I'm just going to binge read the, the trilogy this week, you know, until my physical copy of Until the Mountains Fall come. So I wanted to dive into this since the first. It's now the third, and I haven't started it yet. And I mean, I had everything separated, you guys, into like my three day breakdowns. You guys know how I do. I still haven't started, so. Today has been rather frustrating, um, and then I was doing some work for my pastor and my bishop, and trying to get that done was frustrating as well. It's just like the enemy is like playing so many games, so many games. It's like, are you mad or not? Are you mad or what? Like, he, the enemy is like really, really gunning real hard for God's people, and it's pissing me off. Um, one of the young ladies that I know that I have on uh, Facebook, she basically did a plea cry for prayer because she's going through and it's just like, I don't understand. The enemy is like really after God's people. It's pissing me off. Like, I've always been pissed off with the enemy and his stupidity, but now I'm like extra pissed off with his stupidity because it's just like, why are you playing these games? So yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. It's going to take four to six weeks for me to heal from a broken toe. I'm going to have to deal with pain for about two weeks per the doctor. I have the pain med. Acetaminophen does not do anything for me. Only ibuprofen works for me, but the ibuprofen I take is the 800 that you have to like get prescribed to you, and that's the only one that works. But I can't take that one right now. And then I'm being more pain by the end of the month because I gotta get oral surgery. So I'm hoping my toe is not as like as as much in pain by the end of the month. I do have um, medical tape because he told me to wrap splint my toe, basically wrap it. So I got waterproof medical tape because we need waterproof. It's summertime. But yeah, I don't I don't know, guys. I'm just like I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm like I'm over the enemy messing with me i'm over it it is some time it's like time for serious spiritual warfare because i can't keep playing these games with him he can't win he's not going to win and i'm over it just that's my word i'm over it you guys so yeah i recently did see a video this week i'm gonna actually try to find that video and link it up in the cards i can't remember the uh i think she called it her war room a war wall or something like that i think that's what it was but i liked the video i liked how she had post-its on her wall with like scriptures and quotes and stuff like that so i'm actually going to turn one of my walls into that either the wall right behind my door or the wall right above my tv or probably both and put sticky notes all over um probably on my bookshelves as well my room is a hot mess um it's 
for two for two people it's small it is what it is um so yeah i'm waiting for my mom to get home so we can make that run to walmart so i can get fitted sheets um literally that's all i'm buying i'm not even getting a comforter because it is too hot for that so for the time being i want to go snag up some um fitted sheets i want to get a gray one and then i want like a neutral color just two sheets um because i have one or two sets in the dirty clothes that needs to get washed so it makes no sense to buy more i just want to a neutral one and a um gray one hopefully we can find that but yeah i'm gonna end the video here um i have so much stuff i'm working on for doi it's like insane um i'm gonna be launching new shirts soon i also have a pink mug you guys have seen this mug but i have a pink one that i actually just did um i'm working on the yellow one the blue one the red as well as the white so i'm gonna have like a big video like i said i'm hoping to have all this stuff for that video but i'm gonna have to record that video during that week of the second year anniversary two year anniversary of doi um because i can't record it on the actual day since i'll be going into surgery so yes my life is great <laughs> but you know what in spite of all of that i am still blessed and highly favored i am so grateful to god for everything that he has done for me and is doing for me in my life um so yeah I thank you guys for those who pray for me. Um, your prayers mean so much because it's helping me with this pain. A lot of people are shocked that I'm not in like extreme pain. Like it hurts. It's it definitely hurts when I'm on it a lot. But because a lot of you guys have been praying for me, the pain is not as bad. Because I asked you guys to pray about this pain, and some of you guys probably really are praying for this pain that I'm feeling. So, yeah. Um. So I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm going to finish my sweet potato pie. You guys want to see how fat I am? I just whole pop on myself. I love me some sweet potato pop. With some good old ginger ale. You guys know. I still will be recording my June wrap up and July reads and studies. That is coming. I did great as far as like my reading that I wanted to do except for like one book. Um, the studies have not gone well. I am, however, doing the Jonah Bible study. I'm actually doing this myself, and then at the end of every week, I watch Hannah Denton's video, and I'll post um, a link to her playlist. You click the eye on the screen. Um, but yeah, I like watching her videos, because I don't have the video sessions, so what I do is, for the video sessions, I watch her videos, because she talks about this portion in her videos, um, so I'm able to still get a glimpse of, like, what Priscilla's videos are talking about. I may still just rent them from Lifeway, but, um, for now, that's, you know, what it is. But it's actually really good. Um, I love Jonah ever since we studied the book of Jonah. If you guys haven't seen that study, you can just click the honest screen for that. But I love the book of Jonah so much. I'm going to end this video here because you guys hear all this banging and clanging and drilling and stuff. So I'm going to hear for now. Oh, just to keep you guys updated. So the Q&A video I definitely have coming up with my bishop. I'm actually going to be calling him back today to schedule that out um, so we can get that going. Um, it's just been a lot going on because we have our 10 year anniversary for the church in um, August. Then we have September, which is going to be a busy month for the church. We have so much that I have the minister's class and stuff. So we have to, me and him going to pick a day and he's going to come over and we're going to shoot that video for you guys. So um, that is coming. No worries about that. Um, as well as freebies. I have a lot of freebies coming for you guys. They just haven't been launched. So I think I'm just going to do a big launch on the uh, 26th, which is the day that um, it'll be two year anniversary for DIY. So I'm just, I'm working on a lot of things maneuvering things around so guys bear with me um i'm gonna try to make videos for you guys but i'm not sure because a lot of the videos like the book reviews and stuff you guys i'm standing up behind the camera i'm not sure if i can do that so i'm probably gonna do more hands-on like devotional study devotional with me bible study with me kind of videos and stuff like that so yeah i know i definitely want to do a bible study with me video for the jonah bible study i definitely want to i actually tried to do it with the first day i went through it but you guys can see like i'm in here highlighting and underlining and stuff like that and this is like a really good study i'm enjoying it a lot so we have that coming but i'm that's it for this video i'll end it here and um thank you guys for watching rating comment and subscribing if you aren't subscribed subscribe give this videos a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one bye